Hello, everybody. You are watching Boom Political Vigilante. We're making Gotham great again together. You're making it great because you're supporting this show. You're making it great. Maybe you've been watching the show forever, or maybe you're just joining us. Please like, subscribe. YouTube is unsubscribing people. Hit the bell button for notifications. We do a live super chat every, usually Sunday, super chat Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific. Sometimes I have to change the date, but follow me on Twitter at Graham Elwood, and I always release the dates on all my social media. Go to GrahamElwood.com for tour dates, the Progressive Comedy Tour, Northern California, November, Florida, and January. Also, I have a Bitcoin wallet below. Cryptocurrency, support the show, guys. So we talk a lot about climate change on this show because it's real and it's happening. And there's some pretty dark news, right? But one of the things I always try to do on this show is find solutions and get people involved in ways that can help change everything for the better. We can't sit around and wait for the two parties, the two fucking morons, the two idiot rich kid assholes that are the Republican and Democratic parties. They're like two warring country clubs that are like arguing over, you know, who gets to park more, you know, Rolls Royces in their parking lot and then they get us to pay for it. That's what the two parties are. So there's this organization called the Vest Ed. And what they're doing, and the link to them is in the show notes, so please go to their website and get involved. So I'm sure you've heard about this, or maybe you've even been involved in this, but some college campuses, some kids on the campus have started to um, protest and petition their universities to divest from fossil fuel. So what happened was Divest Ed was created to create like a, a, a national network so all everyone can get involved. Like maybe there's no divest movement on your particular campus. Well, they can help you start and get that organized. I'm going to go into what they do. And again, the link is below. This is a great way to get involved. You don't, if you're a student there, if you have kids that are students there, if you work for a university, or even you just live in a college town, or even call up your alma mater. I'm gonna call up University of Arizona and say, are you divesting? That's where I went to school, bear down. Divest Ed, a new training and strategy hub for the National Coordination of Campus Divestment Campaigns. That's what it is. Here's what they're doing. Um, this is directly from their, their website. We aim to continue this legacy by providing leadership development and concrete resources to divestment campaigns across the country and by asking schools to finally decide whether are they civic leaders or corporations. Yeah, don't fucking mince words, baby. I like it. Go right for the, t t call them out. If you're, t if you're giving all this money to Wells Fargo and Exxon Mobil, how are you a, a, a learning institution? You're just a corporate you're just some like Phoenix University, not even. <laughs> no offense to anyone that studied there, but like that's the thing, these higher, these civic leaders, that's what co college campuses used to be. This is where free thought was, was created and people would discuss and debate ideas and come up with innovation. Now it's just like, hey, the CIA's on the, on the board, right? We have just over a decade to solve the climate crisis. Yeah, they get it, man. A decade. We got to get it solved within this decade. We can't like start to solve it in 2030. We need to start today so that by 2030 we can say, look what we've done the last 10 years. We're actually, and the, the, well, the, the research is showing, we actually are turning the tide on this. We're starting to get some climate reversal. Oh, great. That news is possible. That possibility, that future is out there. It's possible. With organizations like this, we have just over a decade to solve the climate crisis. As every level of our government guts environmental legislation, people are looking increasingly to our local institutions for moral guidance. I say this all the time. It's on a local level. The DNC hasn't done dick. Maybe they'll get some change from within, but I don't see it, man. The Republicans are just fucking people over left and right. That's all they do. In order to avoid catastrophic climate change, at least 80% of all known fossil fuels have to stay in the ground. What about jobs? Um, how about jobs building solar panels and wind turbines and that shit? There's jobs there. There's jobs there. And remember when America used to be at the forefront of innovation? Now it's like, we gotta go back to the old days. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? We need to be at the, at the forefront of saving the planet. 
We could be the world leader. We have the money, we have the resources, we could put every single American to work. We should get our smartest and brightest people. We should get those Jags in Silicon Valley to stop making apps for whatever fucking cat food delivery and start thinking about technology that can save the planet. Because guess what? Guess what? It's gonna affect everybody. The Hamptons, they're gonna flood. The Hamptons are gonna flood. So this is a great way to do it. This fact means that corporations are doing everything in their power to extract and burn as much coal, oil, and gas as they can before our laws catch up to their reckless practices. So as long as they have power, they will use it to stop our government from passing the common sense climate legislation that we desperately need. Fuck yeah, man. I'm glad they're not pussyfooting around. The people who are being hit first and worst by climate impacts of the environment destruction are poor people, people of color, and people in developing nations. Of course. The poor always get fucked. If we are to communicate to the fossil fuel industry, to CEOs and to the politicians they own, that we won't stand for their destructive business model, we have to impact their bottom line. It's the only way they're gonna listen. Protests, rallies, you gotta, you gotta hurt their money. You gotta take money out of their wallets, man. You gotta show them no. You gotta tell the fossil fuel industry, your days are over. So you either need to get involved with the solution and say, we're changing it, we're not doing fuel anymore, we're not doing oil, we're fixing the problem of, of saving of the climate change. We're sorry, we fucked it up, we're changing it. Or you guys are gonna, we just gotta get rid of you. Right? Just gotta wipe you out. Like, like Hitler and the Nazis. That's how dangerous you are. <clears throat> There's a meteor coming to this planet. It's called climate collapse and it's gonna hit us, and it's gonna affect the whole planet. I don't care how rich you are, I don't care how many private yachts you've got, it's gonna affect everybody. And this is a solution. We have to speak with our money and our influence. It is not acceptable that 1% of the population owns the vast majority of wealth in this country. It is not acceptable that wealth allows some people to own our politicians and virtually run our government. It is not acceptable that the richest and most powerful people in the United States work together in conditions, excuse me, in coalitions to maintain the status quo to ensure that the rich get richer and the poor get poor. It is not acceptable that our colleges and universities are profiting from this business model. It is not acceptable. That's the language you need to have. It is not acceptable. And college kids and kids in high school that are gonna to go to college, get involved. Because when the when climate collapse is gonna affect you more than me, probably, because by the time it gets really bad in 2050 and 2060, I'll probably be dead. We're just doing this show eating fucking pudding or whatever you have a, you got to do this and if you're anyone out there that's my age or whatever and you have children small children guess what they're going to be in their 20s and 30s when it all really starts getting bad if we don't do something now and use this word it's unacceptable i don't want to hear your fucking pragmatic incremental centrism i don't want to hear it because it's unacceptable your lesser of two evils is unacceptable to me your superdelegates, they're unacceptable to me. They're unacceptable, we don't have time. David Pakman calling Jimmy Dore a useful idiot, you're unacceptable. Your fucking bullshit is unacceptable to me. It's unacceptable. Our goal is to coordinate and amplify a sustainable student movement led by young people where they can challenge their institutions, build critical awareness among each other, share resources, and continue to organize for social justice long after they have left school. This is the plan that I'm taught. This is a plan. This is a coordinate. This is what we need on the left. This is what we need. Climate change is real. It's going to affect everybody. Okay? The Green New Deal puts everybody to work. Look at this map from their website. Again, it's in the show notes below. Go check it out. These are all the schools that they either have gotten to divest, are close to getting to divest. A lot of states in here with none of that. There's colleges in all these states, guys. There's colleges in all these states. Climate change is going to affect everybody. Climate change doesn't give a shit 
If you're a Republican or a Democrat, they don't give a shit, man. They don't care if you got a fucking Confederate flag or a rainbow flag. Can, climate change doesn't give a shit about that. It does not care. It does not care. So this is a way to get involved. Whatever age you are, this is something you can get involved with. Even just donating money to them. So, thanks for watching. Thank you for getting involved. Support the show. All the ways I've mentioned. And this is a way all of us can be political vigilantes to get this map. Every college, every university in America, divest. That will be billions of dollars out of the fossil fuels wallets. They'll start listing then. Thank you for giving a shit. You're not alone.